Hi. Uh, I think the first thing that we should do is um, discuss cutting out the sale from this template. When you first get the template, it can be a little confusing. This is the way it appears on the picture. Uh, it's a 29 inches by 11 and a half inches deep. You can see that I've pre-cut, sort of rough cut, some um, strips of fabric. I usually make it 30 something long and about 13 deep, just so I have enough space to easily hot cut the template out. Uh, on this project, you definitely want to hot cut the template because it spins so fast that um, it will fray and the virtually any fabric, it makes it look pretty raggedy. This template uh, looks like one piece when it's on paper, but after you cut all the pieces, I think you'll see that it's actually two templates and you'll see why that's a good idea. When you're finished, it will, assuming that you're folding from the top in, it will make a right and left sail, a sail that rotates clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, I've yet to see that make a real difference on the flight of the kite, but theoretically you would think that having them go in opposite directions won't pull the tail of the kite. So. What I start with is the outside of the uh, sail. So hopefully you can uh, follow this. I do my best to cut to the outsides of the um, template so that if I overcut or my hand slips, it will um, cut into a part of the sail that I won't see, you know, that's part of the scrap. You know what I'm going to do, and I recommend this, is I'm going to weight this so that pushing against it with the hot iron. This is a standard 60 watt uh, soldering iron that has been bent over. I hope you can see that against the white. Um, it gets, uh, according to my infrared uh, thermometer, it gets about 800 degrees. I am cutting through half ounce ripstop polyester, which is, um, which would cut it less than 800 degrees. Uh, but ripstop nylon, especially uh, three quarter ounce ripstop nylon, will uh, take about 800 degrees to cut quickly and easily. And let's see if that has worked. I'm gonna sort of go off the edge here. Let's see if I got it. Oh. Hopefully I'm not in the cameras. My head isn't in the camera. And that's that. So that's the outside of the kite. And when you're done, I've done my best when I rip it off to keep the sail essentially hot tacked around the outside perimeter to the underlying glass cutting surface. Um, uh, it works good with glass, it works even better with things like masonite because it really sticks it down tight and it makes it easier to do. The next uh, part of this is uh, utterly straightforward. I'm gonna cut it a little more slowly to be careful. Um, this tip uh, is going to be hidden uh, in the final spinner, but this trough will not be hidden, and so I want to be a little careful not to shortcut that or round that out because that's the visible part. So cutting toward the tip here at the end so it won't distort as I get to it. Hopefully you can see this cut. And Try to be careful about this trough. But of course that part will be hidden underneath the disc that we will cut right after this. So we come to the tip and cut that off. Hopefully this is cutting right through. Ah, 
I am going to, oh, see now that got a little round. As I reach over, I'm going to sort of weight this down. Just to make sure it doesn't slide away from me. Now you can, I'm, I'm right now cutting a six panel spinner. The original um, was an eight panel spinner and uh, you can make an infinite number uh, as long as you keep the same relative proportions. This is about 23 degrees. This is four and a half and nine and a half. And you can make it uh, eight or 12. You do have to have a, an even number of panels and you'll see why very shortly um, but the bigger you make it it just gets fatter and spins faster so let's see if I was able to cut through everywhere now in about a few seconds I am going to show you another spinner made in a slightly different way uh, in case you didn't want this proportion. Get that out of the way. Of course, let me say that if you touch yourself with that, it is really hot. that sail and peel it up off of the underlying glass and this sail. Now while we're right here I'm going to put a fold along the top. This is very easy and straightforward. This little square is one inch by one inch, and this distance is one inch. And so this is, as I say, ripstop polyester. It takes a crease beautifully, but ripstop nylon works as well. And you just fold it down so that the top edge touches the top of the trough. And very shortly, we're going to put a stiffener into this fold and um, pre-folding it just makes it that much easier and faster uh, to do that. So I'm just folding this over so that it matches. Now this is actually my light table and so I am going to turn on the light and so you can see what that looks like. You can see that this is the fold and it is just folded over to put the stiffener in there. Um, now let's go to the next stage where we uh, cut the discs that we need and uh, then we'll get to sewing the stiffener in and there's a little trick to that.